program aims to help with that. 16 people would be selected to get $25,000 to spend on mortgages, down payments, or home repairs. But local activists say that this is not what they consider reparations. The money does not go directly to the people that were injured, but it goes to the banks who historically were involved with the redlining and the injury of the individuals that they say they're seeking to repair. Community activist Kevin Brown co-founded Evanston Rejects Racist Reparations, a local advocacy group that wants city leaders to stop calling the housing program reparations. And it's a tremendous gap that exists between black people and white people in America. If you qualify... What I would like to see is us deal with that honestly. And part of that would mean that uh, cash payments would be part of that equation. I don't think it's an or. I think it's an and. I think we need direct cash payments, but we also need wealth building strategies dealing with housing, dealing with education, and dealing with business ownership. Because those are the ways that we continue to see the racial wealth gap proliferate today. Evanston says it cannot give direct cash payments without it being considered taxable income, and is passing off the tax payments to financial institutions and vendors. For centuries, the U.S. government had historically used discriminatory housing practices that left out black citizens, widening an already stark wealth gap between white and black Americans. And the racial wealth gap is about $11 trillion on the low side. The only party that can pay that debt is the federal government. Slavery is the original sin. Calls for reparations for descendants of enslaved people have been growing. But reparations on the local level gets more complicated. Evanston has inspired cities across this nation to look in their backyard. What specific harms are they responsible for? I do thank Alderman Robin Ruth Simmons for opening up the door for real conversation across the country about reparations. Cities and towns across the country are looking at how they can address their racist histories through reparations plans. Many explicitly look to Evanston's plan as a model, including Detroit, Amherst, Massachusetts, Providence, Rhode Island, and Rochester, New York. If Evanston reparations as is, is used as a blueprint across the country, I can see white supremacists celebrating. Is that all they want? Crumbs? Give it to them. The cities around the country are allowed to take social equity programs and rename them as reparations we're not really getting at the core issue of what reparations really is all about. And that is the repair of the harm of historical racism, white supremacy, and slavery, uh, essentially, in, a, in the United States of America. Not 